All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are on the verge of an eclipse tomorrow. And I had already made two videos on this eclipse. And in the first video, I spoke for all the ascendants. And in the second video, I uh, practically demonstrated what could happen in your life, depending on your dashas. But there's always a but to so many things. Uh, last week or this week, so many uh, instances have happened. Like in India, there's this uh, suicide by one actor. And I had also made a video uh, in my live session. And many of you had asked me so many questions. And because of this corona, and it's like it's mayhem everywhere. You know, people are sending me mails that uh, they are we are planning to give up on life. And I'm like, hold on. <laughs> All right, so, and we just had this lunar eclipse and I also spoke uh, on that. Like 5th June, we had this lunar eclipse and like total mayhem during that time, okay. So I can understand eclipses are a bit challenging and they can be a bit difficult sometimes. But uh, today I shall share some uh, tips and tricks uh, if you are facing very difficult and because the other one was lunar eclipse so that takes a toll on your mind actually your mental and your emotions okay and this is a solar eclipse so this could take a toll on your external things okay like uh, your job or your marriage or whatever it is i mean i don't say you will have a divorce or you'll be fired i'm not saying that whatever happens will depend on your dashas okay but <clears throat> So many of you have requested me to speak specifically for this eclipse. So this is the first time I would say in three years, third video on the same topic. Okay. So there you go. 21st, we have this eclipse. Mrik Shira Nakshatra. All right. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe to it. And if you want a consultation from me, please go to the website down below. And yeah, specifically, you have asked me one question. Are there any videos which you can watch in my channel to uh, understand more of mental health and spiritual understanding? So I have one playlist, Overcoming Darkness. You can watch that. Okay, It's a playlist. Okay, You can go to my playlists and Overcoming Darkness. Then the other one is Bhagavad Gita. The other one is Srimad Bhagavatam. The other one is uh, Vishnu Sastanam. These four playlists. Okay, They will definitely help you. And Fire of Inspirations also. These five playlists will help you to cope up with uh, inner mental issues. Okay. Okay. So, what is Eclipse? Sun, Rahu or Sun Ketu is very close to the moon. Okay. And then uh, Rahu eclipses the sun and moon actually. Mm -hmm. Rahu has the power to do that. So temporarily, what Rahu does during an eclipse is, Rahu or Ketu, they uh, they behave as if they are like the sun and moon. Okay. So what is Rahu behaving like sun and moon? So Rahu uh, or Ketu. So Rahu Ketu represents those desires which we get from a materialistic association. Very simple. So one word definition of Rahu. Rahu rules Aquarius, 11th uh, sign, okay? I mean, he's the co-ruler of Aquarius. He doesn't rule literally, but he is the subtle ruler of Aquarius, okay? Saturn is the physical ruler of Aquarius. So what is Aquarius? He's number 11, actually. And 11 is the original 11th house, which is the house of friends, associations, and circles. So... If you want to know how your Rahu Ketu is in this life, I'm talking, okay, then just check one thing. What kind of friends do you have around? What kind of people do you, as in Hindi, they say, na, kiske saath utte baithte? <laughs> so, who do you talk to? Who do you listen to? Who do you uh, give your heart? Okay. 11th house can represent all human beings in this world. All the human beings. Not only friends, it's associates. All associates. Your mother is in the 11th house. Your father, your husband, your wife, your son, daughter, everybody. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> therefore, if you want to improve Rahu Ketu, why do I say improve Rahu Ketu? Because to the extent Rahu Ketu is problematic in your chart, to that extent you will get difficulties during eclipses. 
So instead of doing superficial eclipse remedies, and yeah, by the way, I forgot to say there's one video of eclipses which I had made, okay, what to do during a solar eclipse. So that also I will put it down in the description, okay, you can check it out. So instead of only doing superficial remedies, like many times people ask me, oh, can you give me some magic mantra for this eclipse? Okay, many of you will write below also. So there is no magic mantra for any eclipse. So you have to understand that to the, to the degree your sun, moon and ascendant are weak, they are afflicted, they are badly placed. And to the extent your Rahu Ketu is also spoiled, all right, to that extent, eclipses will be like a hellish experience. And to the extent your sun, moon, uh, Jupiter, these planets are strong. To that extent, uh, you will be able to very easily cope up with the energies of the eclipse. And many people have told me that they have been doing spiritual practices and it's just like any other normal day. But why is that some other people are getting suicidal thoughts unnecessarily? Okay? Suddenly out of nowhere. Okay? So therefore, if you, <coughs> if you want to improve Rahu Ketu, then... You must take care of your associates. Are you listening to poisonous things? Are you listening to garbage, politics, movies and all this? My God. So recently this actor has committed suicide and I am not very much active in social media, Facebook and Instagram. I mean, I just give my post and I just see them, uh, some DMs which people have sent me. But many of my friends have told me that uh, regarding this Bollywood industry, all the dirty secrets are coming out now. How they torment people, how they harass people or whatever. I don't know what that is. But I've heard that, you know, they suppress some people sometimes. So now you may feel, oh, it's very spicy. You know, all these things are coming out. But trust me, the, 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 it's nothing new. These things are just coming out because Bollywood is Rahu. Bollywood, Hollywood, these are all products of Rahu Ketu. So you will always find these energies there, okay? All the malefic energies you will find, fake, superficial, in, in Hindi, dikhawa, dikhawa bazi. <laughs> all these things will be there. So, so by listening to all this, you are putting yourself more into Rahu Ketu's energy, okay? So then the thing is, what should you do actually? You should take shelter of Jupiter, Okay. Jupiter is the only planet which can take you out from Rahu and Ketu. There is no other planet. Who is Jupiter? He is the Guru. He is the knowledge of the scriptures like the Bhagavad Gita. Okay. So therefore, if you, if you feel that uh, every year, and I, I have always seen, I have rarely heard people telling, this eclipse was bad, last eclipse was good for me. I have rarely heard people saying, which means if people tell me that last eclipse was bad then they also end up telling me this eclipse is also bad and every eclipse is like bad for them why because the problem is with rahu and ketu so if you do not cure rahu and ketu you you will perpetually end up creating trouble okay so therefore um, you should always read the bhagavad gita and you should uh, chant mantras daily in the morning and 11th house my god spiritual community you are doing what not, I don't care. You may be doing thousands of mantras. You may be reading Bhagavad Gita also. You may be chanting what not mantras. You may be initiated or whatever. I, I, I just don't know. But if you do not have healthy association with members of a spiritual community, your spiritual progress will be stunted. Okay? You will not be able to go in that rapid pace because this material world there are people who will always insult you they will denigrate you they will downgrade you they will mock you they will spit on your face sometimes for doing spiritual practices write it down in the comments if you feel what i'm speaking is right you start doing mantras tomorrow all your colleague members they will start mocking you they will kick you out they will throw you out in hindi they say lot marke nikal dega from your friend circle <laughs> Yes, this has happened with me. This has happened with tons of people. I see these success stories which people tell me, but the fact is you have to understand in Kali Yuga, spiritual life means you are lonely. Accept that fact. There are so many people I know, they are sitting in one corner in that bloody room and doing some mantras. How miserable that is. Now you may say, oh, I am feeling very good, nice, and all that. that's great, but uh, if if difficulties come in your life, 
then you might stop doing these practices if you do not have a support of a community okay so if you don't want that every eclipse you get suicidal thoughts or you want to kill somebody all these thoughts then you must take care of your rahu and ketu so roam with good people give good inputs jupiter is the years kan <laughs> so if you listen to good things in the morning listen to vishnu sasalam every day listen to brahma samhita that is how your eclipses won't be that bad all right and uh, as i always say about the bhagavad gita so let's uh, read some words okay which verse should i read mm -hmm. all right let's go to 10th chapter this 10th chapter 9th verse okay 10.9 मच्चित्ता मद्गत प्राण बोधयंत परस्पर कथयत मित्यम तुष्यंति चरमंति च द थॉट्स ऑफ माय प्योर डिवोटीज डुएल इन मी देयर लाइव्स आर फुल्ली डिवोटेड टू माय सर्विस एंड दे डिराइव ग्रेट सैटिस्फैक्शन एंड ब्लेस फ्रॉम ऑलवेज एनलाइटनिंग वन अनदर एंड कन्वर्सिंग अबाउट मी दिस इज द इलेवेंथ हाउस ओके the thoughts of my pure devotees dwell in me pure devotees are the great souls who are completely de dedicated to krishna their thoughts dwell in me which means they only think of krishna their lives are fully devoted to my service they are serving krishna 24 hours they derive great satisfaction and bliss from from what discussing bollywood <laughs> from always enlightening one another and conversing about me this is what is spiritual life spiritual life is not just sitting and chanting mantras this is the definition of spiritual life 10.9 okay so many times people ask what spiritual life is spiritual life is enlightening one another mat chitta mat gata prana and the end is most beautiful tushyanti cha ramanti cha ramanti means enjoy transcendental bliss cha also cha ramanti cha <laughs> cha is used two times okay so therefore uh, i have said many times uh, earlier in my videos the, there are three mantras which you can chant okay if you are facing very much difficulty with this eclipse the first mantra this is for your fourth house for your inner happiness okay your inner peace your inner comfort which is om namo bhagavate vasudevaya then for the eighth house it is Om Namo Narayana. Okay, and for our twelfth house, you can chant Om Namo Bhagavate Sri Vamana. And for sixth house, you can chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. So, these four mantras, if you chant, then you you can chant these mantras every day morning actually. Okay, and on the day of eclipse, you can chant four rounds of these mantras. So, sixteen rounds total. Okay, four into hundred and eight times. in mala compulsorily no discussions no arguments or no hand mobile counter and all this okay uh, so you must do it in mala or else the power goes to the ghosts okay now you can do charity but uh, charity begins at home right so do it 108 times in the mala and you can do it in any tulsi mala there's no problem with that okay and uh, therefore from today if you are facing difficulties because of this eclipse actually nobody faces difficulty because of eclipse eclipse is a reflection of the difficulty which you have inside already okay so let's assume you are facing difficulty then uh, make take a resolution from today okay that you will chant these mantras every day you will read the bhagavad gita every day and in the weekends at least for your sake not for god's sake <laughs> bhagwan ke liye nahi apne liye for your sake for your soul sake okay which is you yourself because you are not the body or spirit so you will try to associate with spiritual mem uh, with members of your uh, any spiritual community okay so at least try or even if you don't have anybody within your city or town at least pray to lord vishnu that please give me some association like you gave to dhruva maharaj the association of narad muni then he will definitely get 100% okay so that is what i would like to say and uh, if you are feeling too much agitated 
then just keep chanting these mantras whole day okay just keep chanting 16 rounds 32 rounds some people are also going to do 64 rounds that takes 8 hours some people will do 128 rounds that takes you know my god <laughs> all right so some also do 192 rounds you know that goes up to 22 hours sometimes so the thing is do according to your capacity and try to fast if you can and avoid eating meat at least on the day of eclipse and uh, no, uh, do not watch adult material uh, pretend that we are good people all right <laughs> for one day we can do that at least because the more we damage ourselves during eclipses the more rahu ketu gets damaged okay and if rahu ketu is not good then there's not much use of doing any superficial remedy it doesn't work all right that will be all from my side if you want a consultation from me then please go to my website below and yes if you're new then please subscribe to it and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who likes to know about this eclipses all right what is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him even on the day of eclipse god bless you